My name is Wamboy Wambogo and I am a junior associate consultant with Amena Africa. Um, today I will be talking about FDI investment into Africa. Uh, due to the young vibrant population and significant economic potential, Africa is becoming even more attractive for foreign investment. East Africa received the least FDI on the continent in comparison to the southern, western and northern regions of the continent. This is attributed to existing policy bottlenecks and political tension in some countries. FDI on the continent has moved more from industrial sectors towards services sectors such as telecommunication and technology. The move towards hybrid and flexible working has encouraged the need for transformative business solutions. On the continent, the countries that received the highest FDI between 2011 and 2020 were Egypt, um, receiving 56.2 billion US dollars, Nigeria, receiving 45.1 US billion dollars, South Africa, receiving 41.3 billion US dollars, Mozambique, 37.2 2 billion US dollars and Ghana receiving 32.5 US billion dollars between 2011 and 2020. Significant contribution on the continent is from China through capital investments into projects. However, the United Kingdom, the United States and France are major contributors of FDI into the African continent. Although there was a decrease in FDI inflow into the continent, um, it is expected to grow rapidly, aided by the rising need for commodities, approval of key projects, and the finalization of the African Free Trade Area. If you're interested in finding out more about what we do at Amena Africa, ask Amena.